Oh my gosh. Ew. Gross. How does it feel? That was the last round. That happened on the last round. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Saturdays with the Timmermans. I'm John Timmerman. And I am Lindsay Dylan Timmerman. Today, actually last night, marks our <laughs> one year anniversary of Jackson Jovi, our jean company. One year ago, I don't even know if it's to the day, but basically 18.5, the open workout, yep. we did a pop up at CrossFit Syracuse, which is our home gym. And it was our first launch of the jeans. And uh, we celebrated by doing another pop-up at CrossFit Syracuse last night. This Friday Night Lights that go on across the country, probably across, <coughs> excuse me, across the world, um, where it's basically an open workout for uh, all the members at the gym where um, everyone can do the 19.5 workout all at the same time. Everyone cheers each other on. Across the Syracuse does it great. They have teams. And the teams are going through the open. It's just this whole thing that's that's super amazing. So yeah, it really builds the community and kind of brings everybody together. But we had uh, we had our fitting room there. We had our tent there. We had our jeans there. So we were fitting people in jeans. It was nice, I think, to kind of close our first official year in business to really bring it back home, right to our home gym, the first place that we had our first fit session a year ago, and to kind of you know reflect on that was was pretty cool. And that's kind of what we wanted to do today was talk a little bit about like a kind of a year recap of everything that we've done. We learned a lot this first year. Obviously all businesses have their ups and downs, but I feel like we did it pretty good. We did it, you know, in a way that was effective. I mean, our focus of this first year or the first year was really on getting as many people into the jeans as possible. Yeah. So just a quick note for any of you out there looking to start an e-commerce company, that was one of the hurdles we had to go get over is how you sell jeans online when nobody knows what your jeans fit like. So yeah. we decided that the best move 
was to do events, right? To get out there, to meet people in person, to give them a chance to feel the jeans, try them on, squat in them, see what they feel like, what they fit like, what they look like. We did uh, about tw over 20, you know, fit sessions where we set up the booth and CrossFit gyms and those were exciting just to kind of go to each of those boxes and, and kind of see, you know, meet the owners and meet all the, the members and just kind of see, you know, how every little CrossFit community does it their way. And then that was really cool. And getting feedback too. I mean, we came out with our latest jean style because of those fit sessions, because of feedback that, um, you know, that our mm -hmm. first styles of jeans were, were snug on really athletic people. So we came out with a more athletic fit that now is perfect. Um, for that body style. So we got that feedback from doing these events. So in addition to the 20 plus fit sessions that we did at CrossFit Boxes, yep. then we did the regionals. So the regionals no longer exist, but last year, uh, the last year of the regionals, we hit the Northeast Regional in Albany, Albany New York. We were vendors there. Yep. Uh, we did really well. We had a really good response there. Then we yep. went to Nashville. Uh, Tennessee Central. for the Central Regionals. Mm -hmm. um, that was really cool, yeah. really cool experience. Yep. Um, and then we rounded out our regionals with the West or the Atlantic. Atlantic. Sorry, not West. Atlantic Regional down in West Palm Beach, yep. Florida, um, which was cool. And you get to meet different types of athletes at each one. So we got to meet a lot of like the top athletes that are from yeah. the different regions. And yep. you get to meet all the people that yep. are in those regions as well. Yeah. It was great. It was so fun and and such an adventure to kind of go to each of those regionals. And I don't know if you remember, but for all of you for all of you out there that don't know, we actually had decided. I don't know if we ever talked about this before, but we had actually decided very quickly, um, or or not long before the regionals, that we were going to try to get in and try to go. And so that was a bit of a we thought it was a kind of a long shot we weren't really sure and then all of a sudden it was like yup you're in and we had like three weeks to prepare like, to really kind of relook at our booth setup and our inventory and kind of get everything organized and so it was like okay hit the ground running which is probably true for every business every startup out there within its first year is you have to say yes and kind of figure it out it was like a full speed sprint Yes. Because it was an acceptance <laughs> pro uh, process with yeah. with CrossFit corporate. So yeah. you submit your application to be a vendor, they have yeah. to look at what you sell, they have to look at your business. And we were so new that you know, we applied to all the regionals we just mentioned. I think we applied to one other, the South as well. Yep. Um, and then just we applied in case we didn't get into the other one. Yeah. And yeah. then we applied to the games as well. So we applied to four regionals in the games thinking, okay, maybe they'll accept yeah. us because also it said on there whether they were full or not full. Right. So we even applied to the full one saying, oh, I mean, it's full, we'll apply just yeah. because, I don't know, maybe they'll let somebody out yeah. or whatever, but we weren't really planning on it. Well, yeah. then we got into <laughs> all of them, all of the regionals and the games, yeah. even though three of the regionals said that they were full. Right. And we were waitlisted initially. Yeah. And so we thought, oh, okay, well, let's let's apply for the games and let's kind of put other pokers in the fire, if you will, to try to make sure that we had all these opportunities. And then it was more like, hey, you're, you're accepted. Hey, you should come. Yes, you can come. Yes, you can come. And then it was a little bit like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a little bit of hit the ground running, figure it out as we went, just top priorities to make sure that we were really just carrying out our vision, how we wanted to interact with clients, really a lot of communication and a lot of just figuring it out and I think that's one of the the coolest things I was gonna say looking back it felt like a trying time but I don't really think that's accurate I think it felt more like um, we just got like pushed into a pool yeah right it was like you just got to figure it out but it was awesome and which it was is so exciting which is what you're gonna need I think at a lot <laughs> of times like if you're starting a business like you're going to need that in order to do some of these things because you might not have normally done it on your own. Like if we were, if we had our pick and we knew we were going to get into all of them, we probably would have been like, well, you know, it's expensive. Let's go to one and then the games and then we'll, you know, and then we'll figure the rest out. But like, because we got into all of them, we were like, all right, f it. like, let's do them all. Right. We're not going to say no. Yeah. So we're just going to figure it out. Yeah. And that was probably the coolest part. Absolutely. <laughs> so, 
so yeah, we did the regionals, <laughs> and so that was um, I don't know what was that June like May through June, May to June, May to June. yep. And then got a little bit of a break. And at the time, we were actually taking orders and then fulfilling them later. Yeah. So we would take the orders at the event, come back here to the warehouse, package them up, do any editing or customization that we needed, and then ship them out to the people. So that yeah. was amazing. That went really well. Then the games came in August. And you know, figuring out production is always a, a big deal yeah. with any company, not yeah. only just an apparel company. So, you know, we were figuring this uh, this production thing out and, you know, going back and forth and making sure everything's perfect and making changes to like our first pattern just to make it even better. Mm -hmm. And so the games came and the games is out in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and then we had some production hiccups and it just yeah. delayed uh, the orders from the games, right? So the event was amazing. I'll be honest with you, it was 95 degrees at the games which if you're trying to sell jeans in 95 degree weather yeah. it's tough but it was tough for the environment that we were in we actually yeah. did pretty well yeah um i can't believe well. how many jeans we sold in literally 95 degrees and humid and people were outside in the sun watching you know so when you're outside in the yeah. sun and then you come inside and you're like sticky and yeah it was it was amazing but that was super good for us to see that People were coming in half naked because it was so hot and it's CrossFit. I mean, come on. Yeah. And like <laughs> they came in and they were like, oh my gosh, I heard about you guys. Like I'm so sticky and sweaty right now, but I don't even care. Do you guys care? Can I try your jeans on? And they'd be like putting them on and they're like, great. I love them. Like, so for yeah. us to see that was a huge validation yeah. um, that this is something that's, that's helpful, that this is something <laughs> that is, is, is going to be good. Right. You know, that was. Uh, especially with the, the one of the kind of biggest experiences or looking back in the past year I think experiencing that delay with production was one of the areas that we really thought oh this is you know could be or it'd be easy to look at it as a potential stumbling block but you know we were just really transparent with all of our customers all of you out there you know and, and just really thanking each and every person and each and every one of you for your support because that was such such a un frustrating experience even for us you know to kind of experience that delay and and it was so great that everybody was so supportive and so on board with saying like we get it we understand you know we still want to support you those jeans were awesome I will wait a year for the jeans if I have to they were so supportive and, and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody out there because that was such a an exciting moment with each and every one of those conversations to just kind of have that that feedback and and knowing that people were that excited about that you know this thing that we're trying to build and that we've created that they were really on board and and i just i will never forget that it was amazing you know a, a word of, of <laughs> advice up to all of you out there thinking about starting a company um, yeah. or a brand that was a huge 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 part of our our success was the fact that we could meet these people mm -hmm. and they could see who's making the jeans and who's starting yeah. the company and who's actually growing it and that's a really good way to make get to get really tight-knit relationships with your customers that you can't get online you know I mean right. sure there's influencers and there's people that wear your products and stuff like that and and that's all really good and, and, and great and a great way to grow but for us to start by meeting the people that are wearing our jeans it made it okay to, to a lot of them, or most of them, or all of them really, to, to wait for the jeans. They met us, they yeah. understood that we were small, and they understood that we were you know, really trying to make a really high quality product. So, so those relationships allowed us to get there. Yeah. And you, know, you killed it in the customer service world, so you were a very, yeah. good, uh, very good communicator to, to the customers, making sure that they knew what was going on every step of the way. So yeah, it was, and it was exciting to be able to share with people <laughs> our story. You know, when people or any of you out there have questions, we love questions, you know, and, and it was such a cool experience to meet those people and be able to answer their questions. And also for me, most exciting that I got to hear their stories, you know, like where they started at their first CrossFit, CrossFit workout, or a lot of people came and it was their first CrossFit event ever, even just to attend. They, don't, they didn't even do CrossFit. 
and they were like yeah this is kind of my first scene I'm not really sure and I was like oh you're gonna have a great time because the CrossFit community is so welcoming and so supportive and encouraging and it was just so cool to hear everybody's stories and you know to get specific with people you know like hey you're, yeah I'm taking up a new job and I'm moving to a new state or I'm up for a promotion or you know hey I just lost 50 pounds or I just got my first muscle up the other day and you know it was just so cool to connect with each and every person that whether they bought jeans or not you yeah. know just people walking by that was such a cool part of the experience and then the the last real event, I think we might have done a fit session or two after the games, but the last big event that we did was Wadapalooza in Miami, Florida, um, yep. January 25th, I think, some, somewhere around yeah. there. So that was an amazing event. <clears throat> it was very different than the regionals and the games because Wadapalooza, for those of you that don't know what it is, it's this massive fitness festival in Miami. So they do... Uh, there's there's CrossFit and mostly the events are CrossFit, but they also have strength workouts and strength events and and really cool stuff for all the people that are attending there to participate in. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not just like pro CrossFitters right. only, right? So there's events for amateurs and there's events for teams and there's events for scaled divisions. Yep. And then there's also the yeah. elite teams in there. Like they mesh all of that together, which just yeah. made the environment. Uh, in contrast to the games, where the games was like all these spectators from all over the world watching the fittest in the world compete, mm -hmm. so it was very much like a pro sport, Wadapalooza was truly like a festival. It was music, it was everyone working out together, you know, it was 40 or 50,000 people. So yeah. for us, that was a really cool event because not only did, did we get to get more people in the jeans, but we also got to meet a lot of other businesses, we got to meet a lot of other athletes, we got to meet a lot of other uh, fans and people from around the world. It was just much more interactive. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. One of my favorite parts was, you know, watching, we got to watch a little bit of the events and watching the adaptive athletes go was so yeah. inspiring. And just seeing that they're, you know, giving it everything they got in every way that they can, that was so, so cool. So out of all of that year, what was the thing that you learned uh, about yourself or about our business like what was the single most hmm. powerful learning experience this is something that I kind of I feel like I knew it a little bit before it's something that had been kind of coming to the aha moment for me um, but the biggest thing especially looking back the thing that I learned throughout the year is in practice not just in theory but in practice to not let <laughs> fear drive your decisions and let your fear take over and decide the outcome of something before you even start it. So when you think of doing something and, and you think of all the things that could go wrong or all the what ifs or I'm not sure this is going to pan out or I'm not sure this is going to work out, hindsight is always 2020. If I had known and well that was successful so of course it was a good idea but when you're in it it's so easy to, at least for me, <laughs> to get swept up in the worry and the wonder and the fear of making the wrong decision or not knowing if you're making the right decision. To not let that fear take over and stop you from trying or being open to it and deciding the outcome. Because if you let the fear drive your decisions, then a lot of things that would have happened won't end up happening because you didn't even give it a chance to pan out. So I just, this year was definitely a moment in my life, a moment of a whole year, <laughs> in practice where I just really know to make decisions out of a place of positivity and to make decisions out of a place of true love of yourself, true excitement about life, and to not just give in to the fear because you're worried. And it sounds easy when you're outside of the decision, but to just know that, you know, to, to be open to something and to have the moment to reflect on this could be something that takes me someplace that I want to go and can I be open to that so I'm gonna change it up for you and the question for you is what would you say was your highlight of the year I would probably say my highlight was the East regionals that moment like that event was the first time the first big event that we went to where we really didn't know anybody there we didn't know a lot of people yeah. you know there were thousands of people there from Canada and all up and down the Northeast and 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 from all over the country really that 
had never heard of us before. Yeah. And before that, we had gone to CrossFit gyms and boxes and done pop-ups where we sort of knew people, and we had we had sold jeans and got good feedback. But for the for us to get the feedback that we got, the positive feedback from the East Regionals, mm -hmm. to do as well as we did sales-wise at the East Regionals, yeah. um, and and to get the spread of word of mouth after that, that was really the moment where I was like, okay, you know, you kind of get that that weight on your chest lifted off a little bit that right. you get when you're starting anything new is like, yeah. what if this, what if that, like, I wonder, it's a little bit of the unknown. So that was the moment, that was the event that really lifted that off of me. And I was like, okay, this is something special. Like, let's do it. Okay. So normally we stop the, uh, the episode here and then we go work out. But Lindsay and I have actually already done 19.5 if you couldn't tell by the tape on my hands. And this mess. And you beautiful, stop it. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so, we don't want to ruin the flow of the episode though. Of course not. No. So, <laughs> we're still gonna do our little intro and we're still gonna show you our workouts now, but technically, we already did them. Yep. So enjoy the agony and pain that you're gonna see on both of our faces. Let's go. Work out.
Oh my gosh. Bloody my bloody hands. <laughs> Is there something that you want to tell yes. everybody? So here's how we gotta do this one. Okay. So for this one, you're gonna go. I immediately feel your level of excitement like jump up when it gets to this part. It's very exciting. It's my favorite. It's where I get to be creative. Okay. So you're gonna go. Let's go. And then I'm gonna pop in here and go. Work out. Okay. 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 Everyone's gonna wonder where you went, but that's okay. Well, it'll clip. It'll be okay. So you can be in the middle and do your like, do it big, and I'll clip it really quick. But okay, go big. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Work out. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. I want to go from this side. Okay. Just in case. Well. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's go! Work out! You, mi you might want to do it one more time because I wonder if when you got there did you hold really still? Because the camera might need time to focus from here to there. Uh, I think it's okay, but do it again. This is fun. <laughs> Let's go! Work out! Paint the tank. Nailed it. <laughs>